This holiday season, we want to take a moment to send our best wishes and sincere thanks to each of you for making 2009 another great year for NASA. NASA's strength is its people. Each of you made the accomplishments of this year possible. When I came to NASA as an astronaut candidate in 1980, I was excited about becoming part of a team that is world-renowned for the greatest accomplishments mankind has ever undertaken. Human space travel and scientific discovery unparalleled by past generations. Today, I still have that excitement and the honor of leading the NASA team. When I became the 12th NASA Administrator in July, the excitement I felt was even stronger than in 1980. We've had another great year. NASA continues to lead the world in aeronautics with innovations that keep America competitive in aviation and aerospace technologies. We're helping design the future of air travel, making airplanes faster and safer in this new century. We shared the Collier Trophy in 2009 for the work our commercial aviation safety team did to make the previous year the safest year in commercial aviation history. In the realm of scientific discovery, NASA remains unsurpassed. We just launched the WISE spacecraft, a mission that will provide the first ever all-sky survey in infrared light. But WISE isn't the only science mission we've launched this year. In 2009, NASA's LRO and LCROSS spacecraft went to revisit and explore the moon. LCROSS dove into a crater on the moon, kicking up material that helps us determine there's water in them there hills. LRO continues to orbit the moon, mapping Earth's oldest satellite in detail never before seen. Partnering with India, NASA instruments also determine the moon has water, begging new questions about how the moon was formed and how the water, a key to life as we know it, got there. Looking closer to home, our Earth Sciences program continues to discover new facts and monitors changes in the climate of our blue planet. NASA continues to lead the world in global measurements of greenhouse gases from space. Our armada of Earth observing satellites takes daily measurements of everything from sea surface height to the health of the rainforest in the Amazon. Data we share with the world and decision makers so they can develop sound policies based on scientific facts. This year, NASA launched the Airborne Ice Bridge mission to study changes in polar ice. The mission will cover any gap in ice measurements between the end of the ICESat satellite mission and the launch of its replacement in 2014. Keeping an annual record of changes in polar ice helps us understand how fast the ice is melting and what that means for sea level rise, ocean temperatures, and global warming. Another cold place NASA continues to explore is Mars. Discovery of methane on Mars has scientists wondering where it's coming from, and if it's a telltale sign of some form of life underneath the surface of the red planet. NASA's Mars rovers had another great year, still gathering data long after their expected lifespan. While Spirit appears to be stuck in the sand for good, the plucky pioneer will continue to serve as a weather station sentinel. Looking outward, the amazing Hubble Space Telescope continues to bring us discoveries beyond our wildest imagination. After astronauts completed a successful servicing mission last May, the venerable telescope has shown us new views of the universe, peering back in time further than ever before. NASA's exploration efforts aren't just limited to science. Our Exploration Systems Mission Directorate successfully proved the flight worthiness of the Ares 1X test vehicle this summer, launching a prototype rocket that will help in the design of future rockets. We help spur development of America's commercial space industry through our Centennial Challenges program. Through competition and prize money, NASA saw innovative aerospace companies successfully simulate landing a spacecraft on the moon and then having it take off again. The Lunar Lander Challenge was one of several competitions NASA sponsored in 2009 to help find innovative solutions to technical challenges through competition and cooperation. To keep America the leader in space, NASA engages young people across the nation and encourages them to study and consider careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Joe Acaba and Richard Arnold, two NASA astronauts who also happen to be science teachers, made their first journey into orbit aboard the shuttle last February. During their mission, the two astronauts conducted in-flight events with students, teachers, and even the president. Through our partnerships with schools across America, NASA continues to excite young people about the possibilities of careers in high-tech fields whole for them. Joe and Richard's flight was one of the five crucial flights NASA's space shuttle fleet performed in 2009. In addition to the successful Hubble servicing mission, astronauts flew four flights to the International Space Station, ferrying crew and cargo to our orbiting national lab. 
2009 saw the first six-person crew on the station. The station's mass expanded to almost 372 tons. An acre of solar panels supply the station's power and new recycling systems provide clean water for the crew. The shuttle also carried the Colbert treadmill up to the outpost so astronauts can exercise, fight muscle decay, and bone loss. As we look toward 2010, I see a lot of challenges, but also a lot of opportunities for great things. I know that next year, like 2009, will prove to be a year of accomplishment and awe thanks to the hard work of each of you. Thank you for all you do. We hope you have a safe and wonderful holiday season and a happy new year.